my brother, my sister, or I, to see my father, nor his friends or his brother. Um, emails and phone calls have gone unanswered. And this is kind of what we're, what we're doing is saying, you know, enough's enough. We want to see our dad. We just want to see our dad. Let me ask you, three months ago, were you guys in good terms with Gene and stuff like that, or was it still yeah. rocky back then? I haven't um, been to this house in 15 years, and I've seen Gene twice in the last 15 years. So three months ago, he was fine, No, healthy? no, my dad's my dad's very ill, and um, three months ago, he was allowed to come to my sister's house once a week. We could see him, he could see his grandchildren, he could see his friends. Uh, his friends would call us, his family members would call us, and say, hey, when can we see your dad? We're, nobody's picking up the phone, the number we have. Nobody's answering our emails. We're worried about your dad. We don't know what's going on. Nobody's told us a thing. So we started um, telling people they could come to our house to see my father on the weekend. And then that abruptly stopped. Back then, was, it, was he happy seeing you guys, seeing the grandkids? Yeah. So, tell me a little bit about it. Sorry. We are his greatest joy. So, his grandkids I mean, brought a smile to his face. He was just happy when we were around. He was happy to see his friends. He was happy to see his children, his grandchildren. And that's what we can give him. And I'm sorry, I'm just having a hard time talking right now. That's okay. Uh, let me ask you, uh, what's it like not seeing your father? It's really painful. Sorry. Jason's still at the door and called the phone.